just add some background light to it. All right, Green, this is the chat portion of the webinar. Blessings. I'll say it here. I do have someone in the works uh, that I'm working on. Um, a W, A, D, a w, whatever project I'm working on um, is channeling related. Uh, um, I'm not sure where it's, I don't know. Maybe it'll be Friday. I'm not sure it'll be. I don't know. Maybe it'll be Friday night instead. We'll see. Yeah, it's Saturday. We'll see. I don't know. We'll just leave it open. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Thank you, Ron, for posting your questions. The chat portion of the webinar. And right, Fritzy is here, not tearing out up the background, at least not yet. She showed up. That's what I heard too much. <laughs> all right. Uh, Gundam, any messages from from my main guides? Uh, yeah, there's a new energy. It's like you're clearing out some old energies of old connections, old beliefs, old people, just old in general, <clears throat> just old, old vibrations. Uh, any messages from Prime Creator? Uh, yeah, you're connecting a, a better frequency around you to uh, open up more of your chakras and personal beliefs. Uh, there is some Anunnaki energy there that has not been cleared. That's from another reality, of course, but um, you definitely have a connection to dragons that hasn't been shown. Uh, Pamela, are there any messages for me? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if you had a, a dark night of the soul. I imagine you have many times, especially after someone dies. Uh, but this is also how you're earning your angel wings, too, to go through these situations uh, to help others through their situation. Any messages from, from Mark, who passed away in 2010? Um, oh, it's on the third. Well, he is aligning with your vibration. He does come to you every so often. He does whisper you certain words. He doesn't want you to take you out of your direction, but... He is there to help calm you, uh, especially anytime you feel distracted, you feel not on your timeline. But you are going into a new light of yourself. You definitely, you know, things will definitely improve. Sure. Annette, Annette are there any messages for me? Yeah. This feels like you're clearing a lot of background energies, those that caused you trouble in the past, and like you're just opening up. New vibrations are connecting more to the sun and the higher frequency. Are there any messages for me from the higher self? Um, any messages from, from me, the higher self? Um, it does feel like you're clearing out artificial intelligence energies. I do feel like you had a relationship with artificial intelligence being in another lifetime. It could be this lifetime also. Uh, that could be also be a person. But it definitely feels another incarnation that's been healed. I know that sounds a little strange there, but I also have a lot of Egyptian energies that have not been healed. Rachel, this morning I dreamt I was driving and came upon an accident. Spoke with a constructive worker about the blood smeared on the road. Then was speaking to a apparition of a 12-year-old girl at the same time doing Reiki, doing Reiki gestures over the blood. Does my spirit team have an explanation of why these images? Well, it, yeah, it feels like you went to that accident site, wherever it was, and the, the girl shows that she's healing. That's kind of a big deal. Um, it's just, I don't think you're just viewing it. I think you're helping her, and it shows that she's connecting to her power. So. Just healing the vibrations. Uh, any messages that I need to hear? Um, hmm. Yeah, you're just connecting more to your higher, your higher guides. Uh, I see a lot of uh, prosperity coming slowly, not all at once, but slow prosperity for the feel that you are on track. But it seems like there's still a lot of uh, blockages that are going through over time. 
it does seem like things are slowly piecing themselves together. So just tell them so. Not that you are. Uh, Anna, how's my dad doing? Yeah, he got it. Any messages for me? He has, has he decided to incarnate on Earth again? No. <laughs> no way. He's still learning from you. I mean, you're his teacher right now. So he's in your classroom. <laughs> he, he thinks it's fun being around you, the things that you do, little quirks and things like that. I don't know, something about your hair. I don't know if you do anything with your hair. He seems to find that interesting. I know that's not so. So, just. Is connected to his feminine side. <laughs> Question two: I dream of being pregnant three nights in a row. What is the meaning of that? I think it's just a new, a new energy. I don't think it's literally a pregnancy, but just it feels like you're bringing on a new energy. <laughs> but that's for your journey. It's not a kid, though. I would say it's a new spirit guide, actually. <laughs> so. I get the name Devin, but you can go by what you feel on that. Uh, Carol, any messages for me? I uh, just see a lot of flowers, daffodil energies. I see a frog being connecting to astral. I feel like you're singing a song to higher dimensions. Any messages for me from the Archangel Michael? Um, yeah, it just feels like you're getting, actually feel like you are getting to a more higher frequency. I did see you in the Garden of Eden in some reality. Uh, where the earth has just begun. Yeah, there's always a reality of earth. I feel like you just, uh, the human experience is something that you still are discovering within yourself. So there are other versions of earth where humanity has just been seated. I feel like you're just starting over again. Not entirely. You're learning a lot from this one for sure. Where I'm at, Amy. A guy named Philippe, Philippe contacted me, asked me to do energy healing for a teenage son. I told him I would not charge him for my energy, it had been a little off. I said it would be like to pay me and give me a nice review at the end. I ended up doing eight sessions for his son that were very powerful, but he hasn't paid me or given me a nice review like he said he would. The last session was a month ago. I don't know if, if I should follow up with him. I'm not going to get anything from it. Oh, yeah, just follow up on him. I think he forgot. That's hard to say. Where, well, he said he wanted to do it for free. <laughs> so um, he's taking up on it. But uh, I'll just message him, see what happens. I did a meditation and met one of my spirit guys named Randall. It was like an elf or gnome. His job is to bring fun and excitement to my life. What kind of being is he? And what else can he tell me? Uh, yeah, it feels like an elf being. He has a lot of gnome beings around him. Uh, he's helping with magic. He's helping you bring love to yourself. Uh, bring more, you know, where you feel more confident. There's still a lot you're working on on many different levels. My well, guy's Moses is a Tartarian. Do I have a Tartarian past? If so, can you tell me anything about it? Uh, cathedrals, uh, Paris. Yeah, France. Yep. They're hidden timelines. Um, I feel like you're a musician during that time also. Yeah, it's not gonna be the easiest one to tap into. Did I have an experience with aliens or spirits even when I was young? Yes, uh, Zeta energies. I also have Palladian energies, even sometimes some reptilians, but yeah, you're just yeah, don't feel like you've been uh, excluded far from it. You have a lot of angel energies. They're just, um, they're just not making it exactly known when, how, but you definitely, I believe it needs to come back to you. I mean, I can tap into whatever I want, I can, but it feels like you'll get, and when you need to know, it comes through. Sifel, uh, wishing you most. Okay, thank you. First question Are there any messages for me? Um, let's see. I don't feel like, I feel like you're clearing with some Anunnaki energies. Um, this year will be a better year, not an easy one, but a better year than last year. Uh, of course, the year really starts off in March, March and April, something around those lines. 
feels like there's a lot of soul healing. Yeah, there's just a lot of realizations. You're going through a transformation. Second question that is that my mom wants to know what kind of star she'd she see at uh, Arcturian. I should have played any kind of effect like Arcturians. Uh, she's she's known a lot of uh, amphibian beings in her past, but she's had countless lives. Uh, Miles, any, uh, any messages from Aladdin from Blackrock? Owl. Well, I have to look that one up. I think I know who you're talking about. But I don't know who it is. I have to. Uh, there's a lot of AI energies there. I'll just tell you what I'm getting. It's, it's a little, yeah, just a lot of, this is probably what you're looking for anyway. Um, yeah, it's artificial intelligence that feels like it knows what it's doing here for humanity, doing what's best. Um, in my, our money system is like an entity itself. And so getting rid of our money system is like getting rid of a, a being, so. Just have to learn how to work with it, you can say. Any messages from San Andreas Fault? Yeah, it's 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 getting healing from the angels. There's a lot of uh art terrain beings that work on it a lot. Uh the fault itself does change its timeline. So there are timelines when obviously when it erupts, the timelines when it's not the aliens. And humanity are working to keep it from really getting bad. They made a movie about it, trying to bring it in. Um, you know, but overall, things are San Andreas. Either way, it's not, not, it might be shaky, but that's about it. Me, I'm getting a new puppy from my local breeder. I, I put down a deposit, and this weekend I will get to pick up the puppy. I have the I want. I have my eyes on two females I like best, but um, but I'm fourth in a line to pick. Can you ask my guys if I either end up a puppy, uh, either puppies I like, or someone else pick them first? Well, yeah, they might get picked. Well, you'll get the one that you need. Let's put it that way. That's a tough one because between you now and then, anything can happen. You know, and they're. It's possible you'll get you'll get the one that you need. Let's put it that way. And it'll be good, and everything will be fine, and that would be the most important. So, just look at it that way. Then that's the best way to go about it. But no, you're this is great. This is, yeah, it's yeah because they pick you. <laughs> so, any messages for my guys? Uh, yeah, this this puppy energy it is definitely there to bring some laughter and just some calmness and help you read the timeline. Notice how you're getting it on this year, because this year is not to say it's going to be a bad year, rough year, but I feel like you're clearing out the past years with this dog and just, you know, finding a, a new kind of joy in your life for sure. Uh, Susan, what, am I doing astral? Uh, I feel like you're doing pinball with some beings here. Like your timeline, it's like there's bets on where things are going to go, like what you choose. And that does happen. We do bets in astral all the time, so you don't remember it. Uh, I feel like your astral realm is going to slowly become more known to you. Maybe almost too much, where it's hard to focus here. But it feels like there's information there that's necessary for you to have. It hasn't showed up yet. but It has slowly, but... Like why you're here. <laughs> yeah, it's not, they're not telling me. <laughs> Any messages from higher self? Uh, yeah, you're clearing out a lot of um, old energies, as you know. It's just it's a lot of deep clearings, and it's just um, like the financial end. I feel like, yeah, that will continue to get better and better. But also with that, your eyes are going to be open more and more of the reality at your end. It feels like something you need to see here. Not a bad way, but there's something that it's 
it's needed your energy. It'll make all sense over time. Miguel, today I saw a number 555 several times. Any messages? Well, it feels like you're getting closer to that house. Not entirely yet, but you're getting there. Any messages from the angels? Uh, it feels like you're putting two different timelines together to manifest another timeline. So in some ways, it feels like you're sacrificing some of your time to a certain degree, uh, like with your work, when you can actually be doing something else. Uh, but your work needs you, but it feels like you can put your, your whole career change can be different, but it needs to be where it's at for several different reasons. Yeah, so it's, it's good. But it feels like there can be a whole different life there. All right. <clears throat> uh, Malesh, uh, do my guys have any mess? Anything to say about the low vibrational drama I've been experiencing, lack of focus and intense dreams? Well, your dreams have been lowering your vibration the most. Yeah, your astral have increased immensely. Uh, some negative reptilians there, it's, they're messing with timelines. So just meditate, do, just sleep it off. Uh, do, yeah, you might be coming down with a slight cold too, just a little bit. But there's something going on with that too, just, just because the air is changing. Just a little bit, nothing to worry about. Any messages from the angels? Um, I feel like, yeah, you're doing a lot of timeline healing replacement. You're releasing old energies. I feel like you're really going into your chakras, releasing a lot of dense attacks from your past. So, yeah, anyone that's caused you problems in the past feels like you're finally cutting that cord. Uh, Chad, any messages from Higher Self about Saturday's family event? Um, Loved by some, but not all. Shout out my RSVP. Yeah, it'll be good to go. You don't have to be there long. You can be there short. It feels like good to make an appearance, maybe an hour or two or less. Uh, but I think it'll be good vibrations. I think you'll get some good conversations out of it. Overall, hopefully. <laughs> that can always change. With my higher self or guys giving me insight into the rock shop owner downtown for a reason, it feels like a bullet. I dodge or was protected from. Uh, no, well, it feels like it was in some ways like an energy attack. No, I don't think you're reading too much into it because you because it feels like it's trying to read your energy, trying to get something out of you. Yeah, you're fine. No, it's it's something's up there. So, but yeah, you're yeah, it feels like things are fine. Uh, just when inside does Archangel arrive? Are you are you are you have? Me about the dynamics of my workplace, rough energy lately between my coworker. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, just that. Uh, I won't worry about it. Just let it pass. Yeah. Just be cool. Just let it pass. Just any conversations. Just, just move on to another topic. Question two potential new relationship energy with Chad. What's our connection? Any messages? Uh, I don't know, Palladian energy, just talk to him. It was like he used to be really tall in his past, past life. So, um, uh, just talk to him and hang out, see where it goes. Uh, Kevin, can I get a healing from the angelic beings? I need the energy cleanse if it feels like I haven't done it. Uh, yeah, it's going to help you heal some of your World War II energy. Only message from... Waller, if I am correct, seeing what he wants in astral. Uh, yes. Yeah, there is more, but it's being kept back due to this reality. Uh, Hugh, uh, who am so, uh, Basco gets yours in the last. Hugh, uh, who is my man, Spirit Guides? Uh, I just get the name Maxwell, is the main one. Uh, an Orion being, a positive Orion being. Any messages from them? Uh, just, it feels like you're, yeah, believing more in yourself. It just feels like you're out clearing out some AI energies, artificial intelligence, you know, due to the, our technology world. So that make, it seems like some of the technology around are causing you difficulties. Uh, Amanda, are there any messages from my new guides, Terrence and Targus? advice they have for me working together just 
trust yourself trust what you trust your heart uh you're on the definitely on the right trust is key but you know these things that keep you uh interested uh it needs to roll okay okay again may you offer some advice uh because that's general i don't know um yeah take your time with it i mean if you have to move quickly as long as you're going to some i mean it feels like yeah you're being energy moved so just go with it so if you need to take more time if you don't yeah because the universe is moving you so it's not just so you, you'll go where you need to be let's put it that way but if you need extra time take it so uh vasco what beings have around me yeah message i feel like the men in black it feels like you're clearing out their energies uh feels like there's some timelines here where joe biden's been a robot um I feel like you're healing that i think you've also seen him as a robot in another dimension like his face fell off or something like that anyway <laughs> um i think also you know uh, we're not da vinci in your past like a as a painter i feel like you're a writer also writer painter it was like a passerby. I don't think I knew him that clear that well. And wisdom from my higher self. Uh, you're connected to a lot of Saturn energies. And of course, it, it would connect to other planets. Maybe it was always Saturn. I can't remember. It's, either way, you're bringing Saturn vibrations for, you know, it's like you're watching the Earth as it goes through as a Saturn being saying, you know, you know, Earth, you could be doing better right now, but not judging. <laughs> do what you need to do. Yeah, you definitely see it from a different perspective, as you probably know that right. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for posting questions. Oh, that's uh, Fritz. So, all right. Blessings.